Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In today's video, we will be discussing on how Indian Air Force is planning to increase its air defense capabilities by acquisition of various types of surface to air missile systems. To begin with, we will start with long range and then medium range and then short range and very short range surface to air missile systems. As we all know that Indian Air Force is acquiring 5 squadrons of S-400 Triumph surface-to-air missile system. Russia has started delivery of the first regiment of S-400 in December last year and it's complete and now it is delivering the second squadron. The first squadron has already been deployed in such a way that it covers the part of the border with China in northern sector as well as the frontier with Pakistan. Russia has also assured that there will be no impact of Western sanction on the delivery of S-400 to India. Russia would deliver all five regiments of S-400 by late 2023. Addition of S-400 to Indian Air Force inventory is going to greatly boost its air defense capabilities against China and Pakistan. Each S-400 system, known as a battery, consists of long-range radar, target acquisition radar, a command post vehicle and two battalions of launchers. Each battalion has eight launchers and each launcher has four missile tubes. The air defense system has a tracking capability of nearly 600 km and is capable of destroying incoming hostile aircraft, missiles and even drones within a range of 400 km. The next air defense system is MR-SAM, which is an Indo-Israeli jointly developed surface-to-air missile system designed to defend against any type of airborne threat. More than 70% of the content in this missile being developed with Israelis indigenous. MRSAM is a land-based configuration of long-range surface-to-air missile LRSAM or Barak-8 Naval Air Defense System. The propulsion system coupled with a thrust vector control system allows the missile to move at a maximum speed of Mach 2. The weapon has ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously at a range of 70 km. One MRSM regiment consists of 16 firing units. Each firing unit comprises of missile, combat management system, mobile launcher system, advanced long range radar, mobile power system, radar power system, reloader vehicle, and field service vehicle. Each launcher will have eight missiles in two stacks and are launched in a canister configuration. Indian Air Force has planned to acquire total 18 squadrons of MRSM. The first of the 18th squadron of MRSAM was delivered to Indian Air Force on September 9, 2021. The Jaisalmer based 2204 squadron, the Invincibles, became the first unit of Indian Air Force to be equipped with MRSAM. BDL has set up a new production facility in Hyderabad with an investment of $100 million to manufacture both MRSAM and LRSAM missiles. Next, we'll talk about short range surface to air missile system. Indian Air Force has eight operational squadrons of Akash 1 surface to air missile, six of which are deployed in northeast to counter China's buildup of military infrastructure all along the LSE, which includes eight fully operational air bases in Tibet. The other two squadrons have come up at Mirage 2000 fighter jet base in Gwalior and Su 30 MKI base in Pune. Back in September 2019, Indian Air Force has ordered additional seven squadrons of Akash SAM which are in process of delivery and is expected to be complete by this year. Two batteries of Akash SAM constitute one squadron in Air Force. Each Akash battery consists of four self-propelled launchers, a battery level radar and a command post. One battery of Akash has four launchers which gives the ability to engage four targets simultaneously. Each launcher has three missiles, which means each battery of Akash missile has a total of 12 missiles in ready to fire condition. Akash is an indigenously developed all weather air defense missile system which uses a high explosive pre fragmented warhead that can engage multiple threats simultaneously. It is designed to be launched from mobile platforms or static, such as combat tanks and even battle tanks. The missile is capable of destroying aircraft from a range of 27 to 30 kilometers at an altitude of up to 18 km. It can carry conventional and nuclear warheads weighing up to 60 kg. Its unique all-way powered missile system has nearly 90% kill probability. Akash has a kill probability of 88%, 
for the first missile and 99% for the second one. The missile has indigenous content of up to 96%. The next two missiles or the air defense systems we are going to talk about is very short range air defense system. To begin with, we'll talk about Bishorats or very short range air defense system which is used as point defense against the aerial targets. Indian Army alone is in need of 5,175 Bishorat missiles with 800 launcher system. The figure could easily touch 6,000 missiles and up to 900 to 1,000 launchers by adding Indian Air Force requirement. Recently, Chief of Air Staff has also confirmed that Indian Air Force is planning to acquire 640 Vishwarad missiles. For Vishwarad missiles, India is dependent on Russia. As per latest report of UN Register of Conventional Arms, Russia has supplied 390 Igla S man pads to India. At the same time, India's indigenous Vishwarad is under development by DRDO and is expected to be complete by the first quarter of 2023. In interim, Indian Air Force may look to acquire Mistral surface-to-air missile to fulfill its requirement of a specialized surface-to-air guided weapons for high altitude. MBDA and BDL has also signed an agreement to manufacture Mistral missiles in India for 50 years. The Mistral 2 is a portable short-range air defense system that a soldier can launch from land vehicles, surface ships and fixed and rotatory wing aircraft. It features the Mistral missiles fire and forget engagement mode and is easy to operate and flaunts unrivaled kill probability. The next air defense system we are going to talk about is CIWS or Close In Weapon System. Back in 2018, Air Force has launched a $1.5 billion program to buy new generation Close In Weapon System to replace its obsolete L-70 and Zook ZU-23-2B air defense systems. In the lights of the same, Bharat Forge Limited has developed new cutting-edge close-in weapon system. The Air Force aims to include homemade CIWS units within the next three to four years and will integrate a system with air command and control system and perform air traffic and surveillance management functions. Chief of Air Staff has also indicated the need of 61 CIWS recently. In this segment, Kalyani's close weapon system seems to be leading. Kalyani's CIWS is land variant of BAE's 40 MK4 naval gun. The CIWS has six modes of programmable all-target ammunition. The gun has short firing sequences of 300 rounds per minute and it has 100 rounds ready to fire with the possibility to shift between different types of ammunition. The gun has a maximum range of 1,250 meters with a barrel life of 5,000 rounds. Kalyani has already completed the trials of these guns. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.